In this video, we are going to cover high resistance liquidity runs, um, what they look like and why they can be difficult. So a high resistance liquidity run is when price runs on an old high or an old low in the manner that you expect that price does, because that's what price does, um, but it does it in a very difficult way. So. Uh, Friday's price action has a few examples of high resistance liquidity runs to look out for. So looking at the start of the day, we formed some lows at 09.50, uh, right at the start of the 09.50 to 10.10 macro, and then price ran into the opening range gap about halfway, so up into some prior price action here. When price put in a high, um, and, then, and then as soon as it traded below the low that took you to the high, so really like right about there, you had a good guess that, well, we're a few minutes after the macro time, and you had a good guess that price was going to come back and run on, run on these, these lows. But the way in which price did it was in a, in a high resistance manner. So, for example, we trade down, we're, and you can tell, okay, we're probably drawing down to these lows. But what does price do? Big time retracement, big time retracement big time retracement, another retracement, and we're just gr we grinded down into that liquidity, right? That is a high resistance liquidity run. Price is running on prior liquidity. It's running on stops, but boy, it's not wanting to do it in, in, a, in a quick manner. It's doing it in a slow manner. And unfortunately, guys, uh, you will sometimes just have these high resistance liquidity runs, and they will trip you up, and they'll sometimes make you think, um, well, is price really doing what it always does? The answer is yes. Price is still drawing to old highs and old lows the same way that it always does, but it's just doing it in a very high resistance way. Now, what about what what is a, um, the comparison with a low resistance liquidity run? So, a low resistance liquidity run looks like this, where we're running on an old short term high and we just run right there, just no questions asked. We're running straight there. We had like one retracement, two retracements. We run we run right on that short term high short-term buy side liquidity. That, my friends, is a low resistance liquidity run and it is your best friend. Um, so let's see, for example, if we can find another high resistance liquidity run. Here we had some sell side liquidity right there. Now notice that if you're sitting up, you're sitting up here and you see that price turns down right at some old price action. You're like, all right, we're probably going to run on a low, probably going to run on this low. But look at that high resistance run into those lows, right? And it's just none too quick. That's a high resistance liquidity run. And sometimes, guys, high resistance liquidity runs are going to look a lot like a reversal, but they're really not reversals. They're just slowly grinding their way to, to liquidity, to stops. So... Anyways, guys, in this video, we covered high resistance liquidity runs, and unfortunately, you cannot avoid them. They exist in price action. Sometimes you'll see a lot of them, especially if price is, that's what it's been kind of doing all week. Like this week, the week of August, uh, up until August 11th, price has been doing a lot of that. Um, even this, you know, let's say that we, even on, you know, this was on Wednesday. Let's show you Wednesday. Sorry, that's buy side liquidity. Look, we have buy side liquidity and price drew up to it, but boy, it did it in a very high resistance way. Just lots of uh, big time retracements, lots of slowness, lots of chop, but we finally do deliver the liquidity, but it was none too fast. So that's what a high resistance liquidity signature looks like. And uh, you should, guys, that's part of the reason why I haven't become a, a, the day trader that I want to be yet is distinguishing between a high resistance and a low resistance liquidity run and following up on your same ideas. You know, we saw it in, th uh, we saw it in Thursday's price action as well. Um, you know, you're sitting up here and you're like, all right, price is probably drawing down to this low and to this low. What does it do, guy, though? Just, just big time retracements. And finally, we do deliver it, but only after a lot of suffering and pain. These might be scenarios, guys, frankly, where you have to kind of enter the market, exit the market, re-enter the market, exit the market. You might have to kind of more actively day trade uh, just because, you know, you might, you, any one of these rips higher on a high resistance liquidity run could end up being a reversal. Uh, you can even see like a nice move here, but it ended up still drawing down to more sell side liquidity. So 
Guys, that's just the nature of high resistance liquidity runs. And yeah, they're probably they're a very difficult market environment, but we've been having them all week, and you've got to you've got to uh, adjust for that when they happen. You, we could have them the entire month of August. We could have nothing but high resistance liquidity runs. But guys, you just have to remember the fundamentals of day trading, which is price draws to stops. It draws to old highs and it draws to old lows. So if you keep that in mind, you'll be a little bit more resilient than if you don't keep that in mind. So, all right, guys, in this ICT Basics video, we covered high resistance liquidity runs, something we've been seeing all week, something that I think you should know about. But just remember, guys, price is always drawing to liquidity. It's always drawing to stops. It's always drawing to old highs and old lows, whether it's doing that in a fast, quick, exciting manner or if it's a high resistance liquidity run, the basics that price is drawing to stops remains the same. So just keep that in mind, whether it's high resistance or low resistance, it's doing the same thing. It's going to the same places, uh, but it's just doing it in a more comfortable way or a less comfortable way. Okay guys, in this ICT basics video, we covered high resistance liquidity runs. Bye-bye.